back at my skeleton farm. As you can see, I've improved things from when I started out. I've got a handy dandy little bubble facator elevator here. I can go up and down. We're at the bottom of the world, so this is a long ride. Now over here, what I got going on is a automatic skeleton farm. These great little wolves kill all the skeletons, get me all the great experience and all the great loot drops. And it's only at the cost of keeping them healed with a little bit of raw flesh. Gives me a good use for it. And uh, so far I haven't lost any wolves, but uh, if I AFK here long enough, I'm sure we might lose one or two maybe, but I got some backups. Got a little breeding program set up back here. And uh, yeah, we got recruits ready to take the field in case any of these fall. So far, they've been doing a great job generating bones. I need so many bones to get the store stocked up. Out there, you can kind of see, I don't know, it's probably pretty dark, but I got a spawner in there. Classic spawner system. Skellies drop in, shoot through the thing, shoot up, over, down, pop, bang. So when I'm AFKing or whatever, I can just sit right here in this cart and all the XP flows straight to me. It's really great. Now going down here, I've got the storage system worked out. All of this is gonna be for bones and arrows, but it probably won't fill up because I'm gonna be taken to the shopping district as much as I get it. Over here, this is where I'm keeping stuff like leather, gold, chain. It's gonna be great for uh, armor stands, if nothing else. So yeah, I'm happy to have that stuff. This is gonna be bows where I piece good bows together. And I got my little station here. Here's a little trash can. I've already thrown away my super bow that I had and I've had to remake a bow. And it's not as good as my super bow, but hopefully it will be soon. Here, I've got a little spare bed down in my bunker. And as you can see, I've got an enchantment table. This enchantment table hits level 30, no problem. And got a bunch of lapis here so I can enchant whatever I want because I get plenty of experience up there from that farm. Hey, man. Hey, hey, geek. Good to see you. Finally found your base. Been a while. Yeah. Been hiding out <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I have a hard start, man. I, I bring in gifts still, even if I don't have much. I have some gifts for you. Ah, I have gifts for you. Whatever you need. Like a true hobbit I am, I have some gifts. Ooh, food. That's the best thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Seems like that's what I'm always after right now is food. Me too, man. Me too. <laughs> So uh, you got a nice place, man. Yeah, I did a lot of work clearing, already. Farming, gathering material. Haven't really built a whole lot. I only have a roof. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess I got you kind of beat there. <laughs> I kind of I moved into an existing town though, so I cheated. <laughs> Wait, you got a you got a mob spawner already? Like, that's an iron farm. farm. That's that's my dirt. Oh, farm. an iron farm. <laughs> it's a dirt iron farm. He got he got he got an iron farm one day. <laughs> <laughs> Max efficiency too. That thing, any iron you need or poppies, go take as much as you want. Oh, nice. There's, because there's a that lot thing there. you're holding right now, and I'm not talking about the food there, but the shield. This thing, I need it. I oh need yeah, man. <laughs> Set yourself up here. This is a. Uh, I've been working out of here so far. These chests in here oh, wow. have pretty much everything. You're welcome to any of it. Whoa. There's That's a, a lot, man. Down here on the floor, there's uh, some extra deep sight cobble, and then there's a barrel under my bed with valuables. Take anything you need. I won't take too much, don't you worry. Uh -huh, no Where are your diamonds? <laughs> I'm <laughs> okay. Diamonds are under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. No problem. Um, I'll, I'll pay you back. You wait. Oh, no, no worries. I love the farm. I, I love how you did the uh, different levels and some paths between it. Thanks. Yeah. Really nice. First real you're an awesome build, builder. I guess. Eh, it's not much yet. <laughs> but also, uh, something else you have access to down here, except you'll probably have to use an axe because you don't want to hurt the wolves. But you can go down oh, this yeah. side. The other side will take you up. Oh, wow. I didn't know you can do them together like this. Yeah, pretty handy. Yeah. This goes all the way down to the bottom, pretty much. It's a long ride. <laughs> We're going deep. <laughs> so oh. here we got a skeleton oh. spawner. Tempered glass already. And uh, I have it so I can just AFK here and these guys will get me experience and get all the loot. But uh, Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, you can just kind of push them out of the way. If they're in the way, feel free to break glass and stuff if you want. I've got backup. Um, nice. Thanks, man. But yeah, the wolves probably won't help you get any loot. But uh, it's closed right now. That'll open This it. is really cool. 
I have a skeleton spawner right next to my base. It's like surface level. I don't know how it happened. Or is that the new oh, update? Wow. I have no idea. Surface level? God, I got lucky. I had to go all the way to the bottom of the world. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll show you it someday. Nice. I, I have no idea how to make a farm like this, man. Oh, it's just a simple just a hobbit, you know? One. Yeah. <laughs> but this is going to be my uh, <laughs> shop. I'm going to set up as soon as I can. Uh, just a bone shop. Like skeleton drops, you know, just to get a shop out there. I'll be your number one customer. I need a lot of bone meal. Nice. Whoa. Looking good. I'm all shiny. Nice. <laughs> and nice uh, there is uh, an enchanter table over here if you need it. You already got an enchanter. But yeah, man. Make yourself Thanks, at home. Man. I appreciate this, it. Whatever you need. Whatever you need. I'll uh, I'll send you a letter soon, inviting you to uh, when my house is done. Nice. And, uh, yeah, I want to check I it out, I have a little man. surprise for you. Because, uh, and one more thing, I'll be making you a house too. Oh. So, I'm if you ever need in? a break... From all the grinding, Absolutely. I'll make you a nice holiday home. We live uh, kind of far apart, so it'll be nice. I won't have to come all the way home when I'm out there. You're next to the shopping I'll try, district. I'll try, I'll try to make you some cocktails, too. Awesome. <laughs> Prime some territory really good out there. Halbert recipe for a really good Ooh, cocktail. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm looking forward to. Can't wait. Thanks, man. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Well, I am out here at the shopping district, as you can see by this crazy looking colorful cage that I'm in, that this is going to be the chunk that I start my business empire in. While I plan on making it super rich, I don't plan on ending rich. I'm going to be spending all my diamonds like I believe I've mentioned, if it made it in the edits, but who knows? I sure don't at this point. But this is going to be the location that starts sticks. I'm going to eventually move out further i'm probably going to need more room for just the first shop alone but i can get the basic build in here get it all started and then i can expand from there and yeah we'll just see how all that goes i've got maya cam floating up hidden in the air and spectator cam up there and he's going to record me as i build all this so i guess i've talked enough huh let's get to building <laughs> Okay, I am currently working my way back to the shopping district. We have this great nether hub started that aces the great linked up 
and uh, a lot of people are already connected. He connected me out of the kindness of his heart, and so I owe him big time. It is saving me a ton of time getting to the shopping district because I'm a good ways away from it. My shop sticks is sort of set up. It's got stuff for sale. It's not done yet by any means. I still plan on a ton of decoration, and uh, who knows what else uh, will come inside of it. As you can see, maybe by the amethyst, I've expanded, so I've already bought this chunk to the side so I can decorate and add more. And I've got a lot of plans for this, so there's still a lot of stuff to come here. And there we go, sticks. Now open, but more coming soon. Inside, you can see we have some stuff for sale. Not the best stuff yet. Hopefully, I'll get better prices later. Hopefully, my prices aren't too bad. We are just starting, so it's kind of hard to judge just yet. But bones, one diamond for three stacks. I have some bones in there. Not a whole lot yet, but it's coming along. Arrows, one diamond for three stacks. Got more arrows. Those are a lot easier to come by for me. And finally, limited time. Iron, one diamond for two stacks. Right now, I've got one of the early iron farms, and I know a lot of people People need iron so this is just a little help to get it out there for people I'm not going to continue to sell iron especially once people start getting their own and generating their own iron farms and all that I'll let somebody else take over the iron sales and I got a lot of plans to decorate in here but it's gonna have to wait it's not done yet but the shop is officially open for business so as I probably just showed you in the video, I was selling some iron out there at the shop. I knew Rusty had also built an iron farm and I wanted to make sure like him or whoever else could sell iron if they wanted to. And Rusty's already got an iron shop up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take down the iron, but I would like to put something in its place. And I've set up a nice little system over here to make that happen. This is a just super simple lichen farm. I put bone meal in this barrel here, filters up into the dropper. Down below, I've got a real simple little observer pulse thing so when I step on this it starts kicking out the bone meal that's in the system and there's none in the system right now so nothing's happening let's go ahead and get some bones bone meal toss the bone meal in there now you'll see when I stand on this the lichen grew right there and nowhere else and it's ticking away, but it's not using any bone meal because that's just how bone meal in a dispenser works. It only works if there's something to bone meal. So if I click this, bam, it's right back. Bam, bam. And I can just hold the shears down and run through that bone meal in no time. So this is super handy. And in no time, I should have enough lichen to start selling it in the shopping district. So I'm just going to sit here, do a little AFKing, let these wolves get me some nice bones and all of that. And in the meantime, I'm going to show you guys a little bit around the base of what I've been doing. In here, I know it's kind of dark, but as you can see, basic setup. Let's go through the wall here. And you can see skeletons, they get bunched up, but they eventually get pushed in. They can't resist it. And they go way up here past this geode. And up here, 22 blocks high. They get pushed along, and then they drop 22 blocks down, and so they're one hit when they hit here. But obviously, armor will affect that differently. And as you can see right there, this lead, I have them all leashed right there so that I can leave them standing if I want and go travel around, and they'll just stay here. Here we are back at ground level of my base area. I haven't done much as far as decoration goes. I've been just grinding away, getting all sorts of materials. You can see I got some dark oak I've been farming. I've got a concacia block there I'm farming. I've got an oak block there I've been farming. I'm out in the taiga, so I got plenty of spruce all over, but I've been needing the other trees, so it's nice to be generating those. Got some bamboo over here. This is my dirt iron farm. Super simple, you can make this thing early game with hardly any material, super compact. This is a farm I really love to build, although I normally don't make it out of dirt, but I thought this would be fitting being so early game just to throw up a dirt iron farm to get me generating. And here you can see what I got going on, the three beds. So that little zombie is constantly scaring these guys. And when it's nighttime, they'll hop in the bed, sleep, and it'll pop up and scare them back out of bed and so on, and it's a fun little time. Now being up here in this, I notice there's a slab missing. That's not good. That allows them to get fairly close. And I guess I'm lucky I haven't had any of these guys die just yet, which is a very good thing because I have no more villagers. This is it. But uh, that's not safe for them. They possibly could get hit by that zombie. So I'm happy I looked up here. I need to come up and fix that. Up here, this tiny little platform is all you need. The golems will spawn right there and it kicks them off quick. 
because you want to get them away from this section as quick as possible to hit max efficiency. And that's exactly what this farm does. Max efficiency with a dirt iron farm. Not too shabby. And down here we have a classic cooker that I like to build. They fall in here. Lava keeps them pinned up against this front glass. All items drop right there into the stream and it is completely lossless. Oh, here you can see it in action. We got a nice little volunteer to get cooked and uh, give us some good juicy iron. Along with the poppies, which, you know, I will also use for bone meal and poppies, whatever poppies can be used for, you know, dye, decoration. As you can see, I've got a good amount of iron stored up. This one's not so much, but I've probably had almost three full double chests worth of iron, but I've been giving away, I've got some for sale, I've been using a ton of it. So this thing, in the very short time, is generating a ridiculous amount of iron, and I love it. Oh, and just in case I did throw this little contraption in over here, you put the poppies or whatever is compostable in and it'll drop through and automatically compost and you'll get bone meal down there. So I'm generating bone meal there and at the skeleton farm, which is super great. So this is the house right here that I've been staying in so far. If we take a quick little look, I'll show you around. We've got a pup here that comes with me on travels, basic stuff, early game storage. We got EVO being slain by an iron golem, which, ah, that sucks. Ah, trident there. I've got two tridents so far. I can't believe it. Normally I don't see a trident at all, but they're just throwing themselves at me this time. That's kind of nice. You ain't feeling if you're trying it. Ooh, gotta believe the future's better. You owe it to yourself to do it. Only brings you joy. So shut up all that noise. Yeah, shut up all that noise. Hey, just chill. I got all the time to kill. Yeah, I got good vibes. Good vibes. I'm too blessed to give in to any stress. It's only good vibes. 